Finally, after three years in the making, me and JP can announce the long-awaited release date of our Around the World documentary, Beyond Borders. And that date is... Hey guys, this is a long overdue video and I'm finally making it for you and explaining a lot of what's been going on for the last couple of years that I haven't really gone into detail with, but I feel like I owe it to the people that supported the Kickstarter campaign to help me and JP make our documentary Beyond Borders. If you don't know what I'm talking about, back in 2017, we, me and JP flew around the world and at the beginning of that year, we managed to raise £100,000 on Kickstarter to help make a documentary. And we naively predicted that we'd have that documentary fully finished and edited for completion in like the end of summer, beginning of fall 2018. I'm gonna firstly apologize for that uh, massive underestimation. Me and JP had never ventured into long form content and making documentaries before. So before I go into a long explanation of what's been going on, I just wanted to apologize for, I guess, that underestimation. And because of that, a lot of people have felt let down. And that's what I'm making today's video about, just addressing everything, um, apologizing for letting people down and yeah, just explaining as much as I can. So rewind to 2017, we picked a figure out of the air. We kind of estimated how much maybe it would cost to make a feature length 90 minute documentary. And that's what we raised funds for. But it also it was kind of like, what, what do we think we could raise? Like what, how many people would be down for this? And anything else, if it costs more, I was prepared to put in that money. So we amazingly managed to raise £100,000 and I'm so grateful for everyone that supported the vision and believed in us and uh, a lot of people basically paid to get a DVD or a digital download of the film once it's done. So it's like a pre-purchase of the movie and that's what helped us fund uh, making the whole project. After the flight, me and JP were beyond burnt out, exhausted, just emotionally depleted. It was really difficult for our friendship and it took, you know, months and months, if not a year to recover, really. And I, I don't want to go into all the detail, but it was really, really difficult. It was an amazing achievement. I'm so glad we did it. Biggest adventure of my life. But three months of that kind of intensity was just really difficult and we needed some time apart so for the first kind of six months after the flight we were just kind of gathering ourselves and um, trying to figure out okay how do we start getting this into momentum and starting working on the post we had I don't know how I think like 14 terabytes of video and we still needed to shoot a lot more like interviews and post narration and me and JP weren't together at the time so we were like at different parts of the world and we weren't able to film a lot of stuff together so firstly throughout 2018 we were just trying to finish off a lot of the narration working with my friend Nick Lear in Cape Town who worked on all the post editing for like two years of editing helping build the story out helping patch together kind of like the arc of how we were going to present this amazing adventure and I guess really helping me and JP with the narration and pulling the best parts of the story out and putting it all together. So that took a lot longer than expected. And in hindsight, and having talked to other people that work in documentary filmmaking, um, they said this is completely normal. Documentaries normally take years in post to work on. So realizing that now uh, I wouldn't have um, made such a, an ambitious deadline and I wouldn't have created this expectation for those of you watching and have been expecting and waiting patiently uh, for the finished film. And then there's tons more involved that I never knew about because I've always just done very quick edits on my daily vlogs but there was like you know scoring, sound design, mixing, colour grading, 
um, back and forth from different parts of the world, trying to figure all this out and working on um, different iterations and going back and forth. So that was just so much more time consuming. And the biggest thing was it cost a lot more money than I ever would have imagined. And it's almost embarrassing to talk about because I basically sunk pretty much my entire life savings into making this movie. Even once we'd spent the Kickstarter money, I've put an additional like 240,000 pounds into this, which is a mind blowing number. And I don't tell a lot of people, so this is hard for me to tell you guys. Like, I could have literally bought a house for that, but instead I just wanted to get this finished. And it's like the first, and probably it's, it's, the, it's the thing I'm most proud of creating as a, as a video and as a creation. And as the time went on and the hours went on and the months went on and all these different people and cogs in the process, I was just like, let's just get this finished. I'm, I'm going to keep putting money in. It was like entertainment lawyers and, you know, everything that needed to happen. Different camera crews to finish interviews. And so, yes, yeah, so I, I invested pretty much all my entire life savings into making it happen. And you might still be in disbelief that that's the amount of money it's cost. And, you know, I, I promise you, uh, I'm also in kind of disbelief, but that is how much money it's cost. So anyway, so all of those things flying around, all those factors were involved. And I think by, by the time we had originally predicted releasing, which was 2018, I was like, you know, maybe we can aim for like another year so we could release it kind of summer of 2019. Now, because I had invested so much, a lot of people were telling me, hey, look, you could sell the movie, obviously fulfill your deliverables to the Kickstarter people and all of the things that you've committed to, uh, the, the pre-sales, the DVDs, the, the digital downloads, and then you could sell it to a platform like Netflix or another streaming platform and they would license it off you or buy the rights outright and you could hopefully make your money back if not a little bit of profit. So this was a, a very uh, appealing route for me. Also just getting it out there uh, in front of a new audience as well, somewhere like Netflix was the dream for me. I was like, oh my gosh, like even if I could get on Netflix and not even get any money, that would be uh, a dream. But I also, really wanted to recuperate all the savings I'd I'd put into it so I can get that money back and hopefully do other things with it for my life and setting my life up. So like buying a house. Anyway, so um, this was exciting. This was a good route for me. And I thought, you know, as long as I, I commit to delivering for you guys and those of you that help fund the Kickstarter, uh, I was happy with this route. So July 2019, almost a year ago, one of my good friends who works at this new streaming platform that was going to be launching, I think the, originally at the end of last year, said, hey, look, we're really interested in the documentary. Um, we'd love to buy the doc, doc off you guys. And um, this was looking really promising. There was a lot of uh, optimism. There was immediate back and forth talking, okay, let's get this, let's get the doc finished. We can buy it off you guys, um, hopefully then release it and give it to the Kickstarters and it's available on this bigger platform. So the entire second half of last year, I really ramped up getting everything together. Right, we need to finish this doc. Let's just go hard on it. And I needed some more people to help me. So we got a few more people in, we finished everything. And at the end of last year, December 2019, we completed the doc. It was color graded, sound design, original score done. I worked with a, uh, a guy in LA who helped to score the entire thing and it was finished. And I was aiming to get it all ready to be released with this streaming platform and to you guys. I just, we hadn't signed a contract. It wasn't finished. It was back and forth with my entertainment lawyer and them. And then beginning of this year, I was very frustrated and I was just, I was like 2019, end of 2019, my biggest goal, my only dream, the, the big thing that was my New Year's resolution to tick off was to get this finally done and finished for you guys by the end of 2019. And I was just deeply frustrated as, as I know a lot of you are, 
deeply frustrated, really wanted to get this out, and I just couldn't do it because we were waiting. We were waiting on feedback from this streaming platform. Hey, when are you guys launching? When can we do this? Can we get the contract signed? And there was just silence and back and forth and waiting around for weeks. And I was like, hey, look, we've got the finished movie. I really wanted to release it to Kickstarters. And they were like, you know, hold back. We, we need to need to figure out like to launch this together. So anyway, it was just months of waiting and, you know, understandably seeing you guys are frustrated. A lot of comments on my videos, tweets coming into me and JP. And I'm just like, oh, I just, wish I could explain the bigger picture, but my entertainment lawyer was saying, you know, hold back. Other people I'm working with, like, you know, don't don't tell everyone everything, just hold back. And then I was like, I don't really want to like do an update or an announcement until we have some update or an announcement. So the contract wasn't signed. There was nothing to announce really. There was like a hopeful thing, but um, I just held back. I kept on holding back. Oh, a few more weeks, a few more weeks, a few more weeks, and then I'll be able to announce something to you guys. And it just never happened. And then as soon as the coronavirus hit, I heard that they've delayed the launch of the streaming platform another year till 2021, early 2021. So this was heartbreaking for me because not only had, you know, for six to eight months, like eight months of me thinking, okay, this is happening. Suddenly it just like disintegrates in front of me. And I understand like, you know, everyone's struggling right now and, you know, maybe they just had to completely re-strategize and I understand, but I also have just felt all of this um, has just let you guys down really. So where we're at now is we have a completed movie. Loads of people are saying, don't release this movie to the Kickstarters even before I have something in contract with a streaming platform or a platform that wants to buy the doc. Right, So loads of people will be like, don't release anything yet. I feel that I owe it to you guys to release, to those that have pre-purchased the doc, to release it to you guys, even before having any security of, of, of recouping my funds. Now that's a lot of money, that's a lot of money for me. Um, like I said, that would really help me set up for the rest of my life right now. But I also feel like I've got this obligation and integrity to release the doc. So this is the limbo I'm in right now. I'm trying to figure out what to do. I'm still an optimist believing this is, honestly, I'm so proud of this, guys. I can't wait for you. I know it's been a long wait coming, but honestly, it's worth it. I'm really proud of this, this film. And I have optimism that we can sell it, but that's where we're at. That's where we're at, guys. And I should have talked about all of this last year and kept you in the loop but um, it was just been very difficult and I've just been juggling different people's advice and not really knowing how much to share and what to do so I thought I'd just make this very very honest transparent video today and share with you this journey that I've been on trying to figure this all out I want to thank you for your patience and hopefully um, you guys we'll have a bit more understanding about the journey. I know I've made mistakes. I've predicted things wrong. I've made um, commitments that I haven't been able to deliver on, but I want you guys to know that this has been the forefront of my mind, super important to me, and it's a priority for me. And I know you may feel like it, it hasn't been a priority, but it really is. And I truly want this to be the beginning of lots of long form documentaries that I can make. And again, like I said, I'm really proud of it. Thanks for sticking with me. And I'll let you know as soon as I have anything further to announce. It's a very exciting day. After literally over a year of communicating back and forth, I've just got through a contract from Discovery basically licensing our Beyond Borders documentary for two years on their new streaming platform. And this is gonna recuperate the vast majority of money that I invested into it. And it's gonna get it out to the world and people are gonna be able to watch the film that me and JP slaved away on and obviously it's long awaited. This is a pivotal moment for me. Oh my gosh. What? My heart's actually racing. I think because this represents 
so many years of my life and it's a real sense of that we've actually got somewhere and achieved something. Oh my gosh. Finally, after three years in the making, me and JP can announce the long awaited release date of our Around the World documentary, Beyond Borders. And that date is the 4th of Jan, 2021. So just over a month away. It's super exciting, guys. We were able to sell the documentary to Discovery Plus. They've dropped a press release announcing a lot of the original content they're doing, including our documentary, which you can check out. I am relieved, I am hyped. I'm, it doesn't even feel real, to be honest. I'm still kind of coming to terms with just how exciting this is. All of the Kickstarters and people that pre-ordered the DVDs and the digital copies are gonna get theirs before it goes out to the general public. We are trying our hardest to get everything out by Christmas. So this month is gonna be crazy. We're gonna be sending everything out. So yeah, 4th of Jan, Discovery Plus is launching in the US and then there's 25 other countries that have announced that it's launching in 2021, but you can see all the details in the press release. I'm so glad it's finally getting out to you. I'm so proud of this. It's been a long journey. It's been a, a lot of ups and downs. It's been a bit of a roller coaster, but oh, this is so, so good. Me and JP couldn't be happier to be getting this out there to you guys. This is a monumental, amazing moment in my life. And I'm just so glad to be able to finally close this chapter. So yeah, thanks for journeying with me and thanks for sticking with me and my channel. I know this has been an interesting year for all of us, uh, but I have some exciting content coming up. This month, probably in a week, I'm releasing my first episode of my electric van build. I took my 1973 VW camper van and put an electric motor in it. Tesla batteries, fully electric. So I'm gonna show you that whole build from start to finish. And then I'm launching a podcast in the van with guests and friends, obviously still abiding by the COVID guidelines and everything. And then in about a month's time, me and Raya have some huge news that we want to announce. It's probably been the biggest decision we've made together for our future. And over the next year, as travel opens up again, I do really want to get traveling again, having a base here in LA and being able to really do some conscious travel, share some amazing stories from around the world. Uh, I'm super excited, like I was saying, to make long form content, but also just really get my passion back for YouTube as well. So if you're not already, hit subscribe, notifications on. Also guys, go and check out JP's announcement video and some of the next plans he's got for his next big trip, his future plans, what he's up to. If you're not already, go and subscribe to his channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.